and put more into the debt than we've ever experienced in our lifetime. We now have over 70 czars controlling everyday life. Every bit of our everyday life. And now we have Obama want to take over health care. We're becoming a socialistic form of government. And that's why I'm scared and I'm also mad. If the Democrats go it alone, who's going to stop the madness? Are you willing to stand up and go a bus there in the Senate? You're going to stop the madness. That's why you're here today. And I can tell you, all across this country, Republicans, Democrats having town halls are hearing from people like you who believe, like the gentleman just said here today, they're concerned. This is not just about health care. When you're spending and borrowing at rates, we know we have no way of paying back. How can we keep our promises to seniors and veterans? If we we're spending the money that everyone puts into Social Security and Medicare on other things, and we don't know how we're going to keep our promises. How are we going to keep making new promises that we can't afford? For heaven's sakes, even China's telling us we need to stop spending money or they're not going to lend us anymore. I don't want to be dependent on China or OPEC or these other countries, but I'm concerned as you have, are. But I'm also optimistic because I know if left to their own devices, Congress will, will run this country in the ground and they're going, any spending bill that comes up will pass and it will have Republicans voting for it too. But if they come back from their, their August break, and they've heard from their people, and they come back and they're afraid to vote for health care, or cap and trade that adds an electricity tax, or some type of union legislation like card check. I mean, they've got an agenda we've got to stop. So they'll sit down and listen to the American people and do what may, has worked in this country for so many years. And believe me, it's not the government that has made this country great. Where's the next question? Okay, back up in the bar. Or, 90% of the people up there in Washington are lawyers. I feel that about 99% of the problems in this country are caused by lawyers. They've written about a thousand pages. They've written a thousand pages of lawyer gobbledygook, which nobody understands. How do we get this changed when they control? They won't do anything with court reform. They won't do anything capping uh, medical malpractice suits. They absolutely don't want to do that because they're all lawyers. Well, you got it figured out better than most people are out there. Uh, let's, let's move the mic. I've got a lady in front of me who wants to ask a question. I tell you, come use my microphone. Hey, I'm a health provider. I know that we do have the best medical system in the world, but we do need to fix Medicare, and we do need to fix Medicaid. We've got fraud, and we've got tort reform, but I am one of those Americans that really fell through the cracks. Through the cracks. My husband died three years ago, so my insurance dropped me. So my health insurance, just for me alone, is $800 a month. With this economy, how can you do many more? So what I want to ask you is, how specifically are you going to provide that insurance and how soon? Because I don't know that I can keep affording that insurance. That's the question of people who are uninsured, and there are a lot of people like that in our state and around the country. And it gets back to a couple of things that I talked about. First of all, there are only a few insurance companies that dominate South Carolina. You have to buy from them. And, it, and, and the pools aren't working well. We have a couple of models in states, and that's what my bill models after. We need to use federal money instead of doing a government plan to make sure that every state has affordable policies for people who have pre-existing conditions. But if we open up that individual market where you can buy anywhere in the country, I think you'd find more and more private insurance companies competing for your business. And there would be hundreds of thousands of people in their pools rather than just limited to one state. But we have to make sure you have more affordable insurance. I, I've got a son who's, who's 30, he's got two children, he's married, he's having to buy insurance on his own because he's back in school and he's paying what you're paying right now or more. And so this is not a problem I'm not aware of every day. And, but I know that I don't want my children and grandchildren having to go to some government bureaucrat to ask if they can get a screening for breast cancer or something like that. Uh, because I know it's going to be... I don't want what happened in Casper Plumbers 
Well, they thought a billion would cover it right. for six months. A week later, they suspended the program. We don't need to do what Canada and Europe's doing. They basically suspend the program until you have to wait for six months for screening. That's not going to go in America, and we can do better than that. I'm Dr. Warbeck in South Carolina, and my wife and I practice rural health care medicine in the PD. We live in Mullen, South Carolina, and we live in Fort Gretch. We took our mobile medical service out on the road, and we see patients in their homes because there's so much problem with access to the Now, I'm not, I'm not doing this to, to, to raise the flag, but I will tell you this, that if we go ahead and, 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 and move health care in this direction, Okay, I've been on board certified in family practice. I've been in medicine 21 years. If we move in this direction, I will not practice medicine. I will not. Now we need Medicare, we need Medicaid. We need it. We got indigent patients laying in their beds. They have bed sores. There's no one to take care of them. We're fighting for their survival. And we don't have the governmental support. And my brother over there who's a recipient of a lawsuit, that is ridiculous because physicians want to practice medicine. We don't want to practice defensive medicine and we don't want all the bureaucratic I's and the T's we have to dot, which takes 50% of our energy and time. We want to take care of it.